Well, first of all, I'd like to let everybody know how uh, honored I am to be here today and to have this opportunity. What an unbelievable experience to spend time with you, the Penn State community, but then also nationally as well. Uh, what I thought I would visit today about is our overall philosophy for our program and our core values. Um, but before I get to those specifically, I'd like to talk about um, how we got started, how that even came, uh, where those things came from. Uh, grew up in a small town outside of uh, Philadelphia, northeast, Pen uh, northeast uh, Philadelphia, uh, called Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Was raised by a single mom who was a custodian at my high school, and that's really kind of where it all started for me, studying my mom. I I've studied people my whole life, and studying my mom, and the work ethic she had, and leadership, uh, and the relationship that we had. Um, the love that I had for her, the fact that I did not want to let her down. So it started there. That's where it all started for us. Uh, left there, went to East Stroudsburg University, got my undergraduate degree in psychology. That's what I was going to do. I was going to get my doctorate in psychology. I was going to make a difference in people's lives, and I was going to save the world. Um, only problem is I had no real life experience. So went out and did two internships in two psychiatric hospitals, an adult psychiatric hospital and an adolescent psychi psychiatric hospital, and learned real quickly that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, ended up taking a job at Kutztown University. Uh, was there for six months. Uh, this started a time period where I lived in nine different states or countries in nine years. Uh, was at Kutztown for six months. Went and coached as the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach um, in uh, Roskilde, Denmark. Had a great experience, thought I had all the answers, thought I knew everything, hadn't really thought it all out. Got, got on a plane, flew 13 hours to a country that I didn't know anybody and didn't speak the language. Um, grew up, had a great experience there. All the while was studying people, uh, was studying leadership. Uh, came back, had an opportunity to go back to East Stroudsburg, was there for a year. Left there, went to James Madison in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Left there, uh, went to Washington State, got my 1988 Honda Accord with 160,000 miles on it. Drove from Philadelphia to Pullman, Washington, 37 hours by myself with everything I owned in my car, which at the time I thought was really cool. And along the drive, I realized I'm 21 years old and I can fit everything I own in my 1988 Honda Accord. Um, had a great experience there, was there studying head coaches, studying administrators, studying school uh, pre uh, presidents, studying leaders in the community. Left there, went to Pocatello, Idaho at Idaho State for a year. Left there, went to the University of Maryland for five years. Left there, went to the Green Bay Packers. Left there, went to Kansas State. This whole time, I was studying people. I was taking notes. I had made up my mind that I wanted to be a head coach and trying to figure out what that would mean and how I would do it. I spent all my summers developing a head coaching manual and it had a tab in there for everything. How I was gonna handle discipline, how I was gonna focus on academics, what the offensive philosophy was gonna be, what the defensive philosophy was gonna be. Spent all this time going through, I've been working on it for 10 years all these life experiences, all these professional experiences, I looked at that manual and I realized that there was a couple tabs that were the most important. What was gonna be our overall philosophy, philosophy for our organization or our team and what were our core values were gonna be. So that's kind of where it all started. We've come to the realization real quickly, and I know this is very simplistic, but all the books that we've read, all the speakers that we've listened to, all the different people that I've interviewed, uh, whether it's leadership books, whether it's management books, whether it's watching people and studying people, it came back to this, relationships. It's all about relationships. In any organization, in any corporation, on any team, on any college campus, it's about relationships. That is our philosophy. Everything we do is about fostering healthy and positive relationships on our team and in our organization. That's with the other coaches. That's with the trainers. That's with the doctors. That's with the managers. That's with our players. Every decision we make, is this going to help us? 
I tell our players all the time, people look at football coaches and you're supposed to be big and tough and all that kind of stuff. I cry and I get emotional all the time because I care so much. And I want our players to know that. I tell them all the time how much I love them and how much I care about them. Every once in a while, they tell me back that they love me too, which is cool. Um, <laughs> but we believe you can be unbelievably demanding and challenging on people, challenging on people, if they know how much you care. It starts there. It starts with trust. It starts with that relationship. So we try to challenge our guys all the time to be the best they possibly can be. That relationship, how we connect with them, how we interact with them, that's the way you have the opportunity to maximize any individual experience or any group experience is through those relationships. So we talk about it all the time. We have what we call as the ultimate teammate. I start every team meeting very similar to this. Get up in front of our team and talk about the things that are important. One of the things we talk about all the time is the ultimate teammate. Talking about relationships. Our ultimate teammate is not who's the best player, not a popularity contest. It's who's the guy on this team that's earned everybody's respect by how he conducts himself in the community, by how he works in the classroom, by how he practices, by how he lifts weights, by how he competes on the football field, all these things. So I go around the room, and what their goal is, is after they've been there a year, that when I go around the room, multiple people say your name. You've earned the respect of all your peers. So everything we do is about is about empowering, is about building on the relationship aspect in our program. Our core values, our core values, number one, our first core value is to have a positive attitude. Again, really simplistic, really simplistic. That's something that we can control. We talk about controlling the controllable. Waking up every single morning with a really positive attitude and being really appreciative of the opportunity that we have at Penn State. We talk about waking up in the morning and doing a back handspring out of bed, ready to attack the day with everything you have. Our guys understand that. We won't have one person associated with our program. The players, the coaches, administrators, anybody that comes in contact with our players must have a positive attitude. We all know that person you work with, and while they're working, they're doing their job, but they're fussing and they're moaning and they're sucking the energy out of everybody. We don't want anybody like that. We work way too hard, we work way too long to spend time around people that are gonna be doing those things. I wanna be around positive, enthusiastic people that are appreciative and excited about the opportunity. So that's number one. You must have a positive attitude to be a part of our program. We try to reinforce these things throughout our entire building with pictures, reinforcing all those emotions, all those feelings. There's an issue a little bit with football because we don't have the same connection with the fans and the same type of connection with the community because of the helmet. It's different than other sports. So being able to show who our guys really are, be able to take the helmet off and see the emotion and see the passion for what we're doing and where we're going. Work ethic, work ethic. Something I was taught at a very, very young age. Um, there may be better looking head coaches in the Big Ten, there might be smarter head coaches in the Big Ten. Nobody's gonna outwork me. Nobody's gonna outwork us. That's something that we can control. Waking up every single morning, putting a great day's work in. We believe you got an exam on Friday. You don't wait till Thursday. You start studying like crazy. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. By the time Friday comes around, the exam will take care of itself. No different than the games on Saturday. The more days that we win in the off season, the games will take care of themselves. It's all about preparation. It's all about investment. No different than today. Today's an opportunity for me. We believe, I believe that every time I get an opportunity to get up and talk to somebody, they're a Penn State fan. And if they're not, by the time I get done talking, they better be. Uh, so we take every opportunity like this to go out and do it, but work ethic, that's something that we can control. I might, uh, one of our players might wanna be six foot six. You might, wanna, you might wanna have blue eyes, you might wanna have blonde hair, you might wanna have this or that, you can't control that. But what you can control is that you're gonna outwork people. Talk to our players all the time about, there may be a person in your class and they have to study for an hour to get the A. You may have to study for six hours to get the A. But all that matters is, in the end, you got the A. 
So talking about that work ethic and that investment, try to reinforce these things throughout our building, throughout our building, pictures of emotion and encouragement and work ethic and strain and grit and determination, all the things that I think people focus that it comes to football, but it really, it really depends, it really affects life. If you're able to do these things in life, it's gonna to transfer to football. If you're able to do these things in football, it's able to translate to life. It's all about these positive things that we're trying to encourage with our guys. Compete. Compete in everything you do. Everything you do. In the classroom, with study hall hours, in the community with community service, at practice, on the football field, whatever it may be, compete in everything you do. I kid around with my guys. I say, you go home, you go home on Christmas break, your little cousin wants to play you in checkers, beat his butt. <laughs> compete in everything you do. Those last two things are what this country was built on, being the most competitive society in the world and having an unbelievable work ethic. We've lost a little bit of that. We've become a soft, entitled society. You want the American dream, you work for it. That white picket fence with the two and a half kids and the dog, you work for that. So we talk to our guys all the time about that, the investment that it takes, and you have to compete. Our fourth core value that we talk about all the time, that's probably the most important core value, is sacrifice. Everybody wants success, but are they willing to sacrifice to get the success that they want? Are you willing to sacrifice the things that the common man won't sacrifice to be special? So when the rest of the students may be going out on a Thursday night and you have an exam on Friday, rather than settling for the B, when you know you can get the A, stay in and get the A. If you have to choose by, between eating junk food or eating something healthy, sacrifice, eat the healthy thing. Instead of staying up till two o'clock in the morning playing video games, go to bed, get your sleep, set your alarm clock, wake up and have breakfast. Make the choices, the small choices every single day. Be disciplined enough to do it so you can have the type of success that you want. So number one, our philosophy, overall philosophy is relationships always will be. Our four core values are, are number one, have a positive attitude, number two, uh, unbelievable work ethic. Number three, compete in everything you do. And then number four, you must be willing to sacrifice. We talk to our guys about these things all the time. Once again, try to reinforce the importance of these things, the importance of preparation. Have pictures throughout the building. I'm all over Twitter, reinforcing positive messages with our players and with our program and with our great institution over and over and over again. The last part, and the probably most important thing is, you must create a collective mentality. And what I mean by that is, we need to create a culture that everybody in our building, everybody associated with our program, everybody associated with this institution, that we're all singing the same song and we're all singing at the same tune. We're all working together. We're pulling the rope in the same direction. These are things that we talk about all the time with our players. We believe in it. We take great pride in it. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the opportunity to come and visit with you guys today, talk about our core values, talk about our overall philosophy. I can't express to the people in this room, I can't express to the people watching nationally how proud I am to be the head football coach at Penn State University. Thank you so much.